no more white sugar. White sugar is such a, an addictive media. Animal foods are an addictive media. They really are. Their stuff tastes good to you. Oh, no, I like chicken. I like ham. I like barbecue. I like, well, wait a minute now. We can fix you a chicken. Taste. This is chicken right here. We can fix you chicken This taste. is chicken salad, but there's no chicken in it. Right, because if you take the taste out of that meat you're cooking, I guarantee you're not going to like it. How can this be chicken salad? <laughs> there's not a chicken within 50 miles of here. 50 miles, no miles. <laughs> <laughs> well, so what's in your chicken salad? We ha I take jackfruit. You know the jackfruit. Where is it, Where is it right there? Here. No, here. Oh, here look it here. is. Look at this. this. Is, doesn't that look the color of chicken? What is that? It looks like chicken, kind of. What is yeah, it? It's a fruit. It's a fruit? Yeah, here's a picture. That's the young jackfruit before it matures. And you just blend this up. Oh, grind it up and do what? It's kind of bland. What you I do, you can put mix. I my fork in there See, again. See, this is chicken and I also made the fish. Here, I got a fork right here. There you go. There you go. I got to have, here, let me put some on a plate because I don't want to mess this whole thing up. <laughs> I haven't had any of your chicken yet. But this isn't, this is again, this is false advertising because it's not really chicken. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're tricking people. No, if I could trick them, I sure would. <laughs> you could have tricked me. It tastes like chicken salad. Of course, you know why? Because I created a chicken uh, combination of uh, spices. Wow. If you know what spices you're using, you don't need a teacher. Just go within yourself, be creative, and come up with some of the tasting. Well, I hate to tell you this, but I'm past 35. Okay. It's too late for me to reevaluate at 35. Okay. And I love sugar, and I love meat. Now, what can I do with myself? I'm a mess. I'll turn you on to a sugar that's not going to give you high blood pressure. <laughs> Okay. But I can't go to a restaurant and eat like this. That's true. You have to come to Ingrid's Cafe. <laughs> <laughs> I have a feeling Ingrid's Cafe is not only just a literal place, it's a place in your mind, isn't there it? There you go. Now you said it. Yeah. Exactly. That's exactly because right. Because now we can get to what your name means, there Satari, which Zatari means... Satari means healing revelations. There you go. Healing revelations, right? But what we're doing to our bodies mm. is shameful, oh, isn't for it? for real, for sure. Absolutely. Talk a little bit about that. What are we doing? We age at 15. I mean, I look at some of these children that go to school, I say, my God, they look older than I do. It's because of what they're eating. <laughs> That's right. Listen, when you're eating a lot of junk foods, the, the cellular body is taking that in and it's aging your system because it's frustrated. It's going on a degenerating back eddy kind of move mm -hmm. rather than a forward move. You see what I'm saying? And food does that. If the food is depressing you rather than well, lifting it, you up. Is it too late for me? No. Is it too There's late no for people thing. watching? No, 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 no. It's never too late. It's never too late. What you want to do is learn to live. You live to live, not live to die. See, it, our belief system is what's killing us. We people live to die. Do you know that? Most people will talk, well, I'm well, gonna die people, anyway. A lot of people live to eat. Well, let's live to eat good. Let's live to eat what is good for our body. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Then we are living to live. And the good food plays into good spiritual feelings Thank and good you. It all... Automatically, you go into a spiritual experience. It has nothing to do with what some priest or preacher is saying to you. It's what your body and the almighty creator is saying to us. And it's getting back to the basic, yeah, the, oh, the raw, natural law. the natural The food. natural law. Uncooked. There you go. Ready untreated. That's right. Absolutely. See, it's a simple philosophy, yes, isn't it? Yes, it is. Very simple. Well, but how did we, we get away from because it? Because we walk over simplicity. You tell us something simple. Oh, sister, me and you, no, that's not right. Yeah, it is right. It's simple, but it's so simple we don't want to believe it. Ingrid, you've been listening to all this today, but you've been listening to this for a couple of months because you're at KCET in the commissary as well. That's right. So you've been 
Well, you, you've known about this and what she had to say for a long time. Yes, I have. I actually met Zatari uh, a few years ago uh, through Lee Anthony, who came aboard with me quite a while. And I have always prepared cooked food. But in my business of catering, and I cater for all over the place, Hugh, and um, the demand started coming into a healthier way of eating. So when I met Zatari, it was just like a dream come true. Yeah, but true. wait a minute. A healthier way of eating does not necessarily mean raw. If you tell somebody that you're going to cater their party with raw food, don't you have to sell them on that? No. <laughs> See, here's what we're talking about doing. We're going to do a vegetarian food, which is cooked. Vegetarians cook. There's a ovo vegetarian. Vegetarian. There's a lacto vegetarian. Ovo is eggs. Ovo is lacto eggs. is milk. So we won't yank them off that. We're just gonna take Not them off all. of meat. Not at all. The demand she is there can, for everything. I prepare everything and everything food. that people like. Exactly. As far as the chicken, the beef, the mm -hmm. fish, and things of that nature. But what I've learned that people are inquiring about alternative ways of eating yeah. or things that are maybe better for them than fried food, um, than um, processed foods and things like that. So we don't have to go all the way to raw food. Not immediately. Not no. immediately. No. You we can do this in stages gradually. and we can yeah. do this Absolutely. in, in other words, if I'm sitting around watching TV at night mm -hmm. instead of eating four bags of Fritos, Why not? Why I not? can eat some of this there you go. because this is just as good Absolutely. and it's good for you Absolutely. and it fills you up. Mm -hmm. You got it. I've been a vegetarian for the last past four years and I still eat hot food. Uh -huh. So I haven't, my, well, I haven't. She'll win you over yes, for long. Yes, She's working yes. on that. It'll but just be a while. Delicious. Everything here is absolutely delicious. You feel the same way? Yes, I do. I've learned to eat raw. I've been a vegetarian for a number of years, but working with Zatari, I've lost weight and I've learned to eat raw foods. Their burgers are delicious. You feel better. I feel much healthier. You feel better. Yes. I've been a vegetarian for five years and a vegan for one year. And uh, having known Zutari and also my roommate who has been a vegan for 14 years really helped me make the transition. And I really definitely see even an improvement from, you know, from, a vegetarian, from just a vegetarian diet to but vegan But wait a diet. minute, we're talking to people standing out here who just the idea of being a vegetarian is a huge leap. Yeah. A vegan is a huge leap beyond that. I know. So you're you're not preaching to the choir here. No, no we're not. Um, but I can tell you that she makes the best tasting food. You will know no difference. Actually, you'll know the difference that you actually feel better. That's the difference you'll know. And you get the best food in the world. It's really, I mean, it's the best tasting food in the world. I'm her sous chef, and I learned how to prepare foods. And so she's teaching she's, you how to prepare food. Oh, absolutely. And she's actually pioneered a lot of businesses that are now uh, doing foods for. Uh, for the LA markets. In, in LA. Absolutely. I never knew this about her. Yeah. She's kind of quiet. Oh, about she's her very quiet. Missionary she, work. Yeah, there are actually uh, plenty of restaurants. I, I can actually name about 15 of them that she's actually inspired. Wholesale businesses and vegan restaurants that wow. were all inspired by this lady here. This is your kitchen. Come in here. You've been nice. Introduce yourself to everybody. David Sanfield Tool. Okay, so this is your kitchen, it and is. you do a lot of catering for movies and mm -hmm. things like that. And we also have. Uh, a couple of pizza restaurants, the Pitfire Pizza Company. Okay, but none of that is vegetarian, none of that, none of that is vegan. Well, well, we have vegetarian pizzas, but not vegan. Yeah, so yeah. what well, do you could think? Make vegan. You've, you've let us use your kitchen here yeah, today. I, what do you think about this? I'm really impressed. I think this is a special lady. I think she's on a mission, and the food is fantastic. Well, I've tried how, almost everything here. It's how great. How commercially viable is this? How many people could actually implement this in their daily lives? Well, it's up to us, isn't it? I think so, yeah. But I mean, I've, I've, I've certainly been hearing about raw food for the last uh, three or four years. It seems like there's a momentum. Well, you going showed us a package of food. Lee, could you yeah. get that, grab that package over there on the counter that you just got at Whole Foods That's today? Right, yeah. yeah. So their Whole Foods is already packaging these things, but you said they're probably not as tasty well, we did as a Atari's taste, didn't we? things. Yeah. <laughs> We don't want to, we're not going to put the brand out there, are yeah, we? Yeah, we won't do that. <laughs> but the uh, Not is, as good. No, no, not even close. Now, what is this? That's we're a macaroon. Well, you it's say it's a macaroon, but right. I know you well enough macaroon. already. This is not really a macaroon. <laughs> yeah, it is. 
That's a vegan macro. A vegan macro. Let's see. There you go. There you go. What's in here? On, on the outside is the coconut, the macaroon coconut. Mm -hmm. You want to cut the inside? Oh, cut no. It? I don't need to cut it. I'll just uh, eat it. Oh, okay. Well, bite it, and I'll tell you. See, that is unsulfured, unsweetened pineapple, sweetened in its own juice. So it's naturally oh, sweet. Oh, yes. Yes, it is. Mm-hmm. This is, can we put this recipe up on the screen I for don't people? I sure. So let's say what it is you do real quick and we'll put it up on the screen. All this right, will be everybody's first experiment with healthy desserts. Okay, what you do is you have to take the pineapple because it's dry. I mean, uh, yeah, it's dry. And you kind of wet it and you have to grind it. You run it through a grinder mm -hmm. so you can get, you know, work with it, manipulate it. And then you add nuts to your choice put some nuts. Always mix soft nuts with soft nuts. If you use a hard nut, use only one. And what See, else? Nuts there's a lot more in here. Yeah, just cashews, walnuts, and uh... What's all the filling in there? That's it. Just pineapple and nuts. That's it? Mm -hmm. It's almost too simple. I know. Yeah. <laughs> That's it, isn't it? Do we not stumble over simplicity? We're ending up with a fish patty, but you spell it a little differently. F Y S H. <laughs> and there's fish. no fish in here. None. And it's cold. It's a fishless fish burger. But or I can patty, eat it. Fish patty. I oh, can yeah, eat it. Of cold. Course, of What's course. in it? Jaka. It's made with the jaka. Why do you call it fish? Because it has a fish taste. Now here's what I do. I use kelp. Have you heard of kelp oh, before? Yeah. Okay. It's the sea uh, vegetables give a fishy taste to foods. It's like fish. Yes. Absolutely. Have you have you had one yes, of these? Yes, I have. It's like it fish. tastes like fish. Have you had one of these? Oh yeah, I've had that in a barbecue. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. What was that? Grab, one of, these, grab one of these. Grab one of these. They're down at the end. The yeah, fish one. Work. This is absolutely amazing yeah. stuff. It's amazing. Well, it fun. is utterly amazing because you always associate good taste with cooked food, mm -hmm. and that's the assumption that all of us have. Okay, and it just becomes a, a, a mere fact of availability and knowledge. Yeah. The more you know, like for instance, when you eat, you're supposed to put vitamins, minerals, amino acids, enzymes into your body. Regardless of if you're a vegetarian cooking your food versus a meat eater, actually you're going down the same path. You're not getting those minerals, those vitamins. So we want to eat with the thought of replenishing and feeding our body what it needs. See, there is so much to learn. Oh, we yes. are just starting yeah. our journey I today. Love it. I love but it, it's sir. exciting to start this journey. Absolutely. Because I got to admit, I am as guilty or if not more so than mm -hmm. anybody coming from the south mm -hmm. of eating a lot of stuff oh, yes. that's not real good for you. My mother was from the South <laughs> and she fed us that which is not good for you. <laughs> but and cook the food to death. But the good news is we can start. Yes. With a small step. Oh yes, you got it. And see how we feel and Absolutely. how it goes. Yes. And from there move on. Move on. To better health. Boy, this has been great. Mm -hmm. I'm going to shake your hand. That's all right. <laughs> because you don't mind a little fishy you, smell on that, no. do you? <laughs> Not at all. Because it's spelled F-Y-S-H. <laughs> the good kind of fish. You got it. I hope I've inspired you. I really You do. have inspired me. I have a feeling you've inspired people out there, too. Yes, for This sure. is something we can all begin together mm -hmm. a step at a time. Yes. That's right. But Absolutely. the journey of a million miles begins oh, yeah. with a single... Okay. Fish a patty. Single bite. <laughs> a single bite. A single bite. Mm -hmm. That's right. We've had a wonderful day. We've learned a lot. We've had our assumptions about food challenged, mm -hmm. just like I said we would. Mm -hmm. But it's all been a good thing. You got it. That's right. Thank you very much. Thank, thank, you. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.